Hey Sagittarius, this is Crystal with a month ahead, even though we're already in the month. <laughs> Been kind of going through it. I appreciate your patience. So I'm going to do a month ahead, well, in the kind of month ahead tarot spread for you. I'm going to draw from the Oracle of the Seven Energies and I'm going to do a sacred geometry activation card for you, okay? So with that being said, I've already saged. Let's see what spirit has for you for the month of November, 2020. What messages, guidance, advice does Sagittarius need to hear spirit for November, 2020? Thank you. Oh, look, y'all's energy already got the freaking cards flying off. I just bought these cards, Sagittarius. Y'all can't be having me pin these up. See, I'm blaming y'all, right? It's all your fault. Just kidding. Not your fault. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get these nice and shuffled up for you guys without losing them all over the place. Okay. What messages do you have for Sag Sagittarius for the month of November 2020, Spirit? Thank you very, very much. And thank you, Sagittarius, for tuning in. If you have not done so, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on when I post videos. Okay, let's shuffle. Yes, I shuffle my cards like all the time because I want these energies to be right, son. Right. All right. So, Sagittarius, you got a burst of magic. Ooh, look how pretty. Look at her. Oh, look how pretty. All right. And that is a 48. And that equates to a 12, which equates to a 3 in numerology. So, look that up, Sagittarius, please. My life path, my life path is a three. If you need to know what that means, just let me know in the comments and I'll give you the formula. But they also have like calculators too on Google. So yeah, you can look up life path, like find my life path and it'll actually just do it for you. There is it's where you add all of your digits and your birthday till you get to one digit. <clears throat> all right, 48, a burst of magic. All right, Sagittarius, you have key concepts for this month. An epiphany, a sudden higher knowing, a sense that everything has a purpose, your purpose as a gift bestowed upon you, cultivating conscious contact with a higher power, coming to know what calls to you and lights you up. Sometimes you may find that something you've been pondering or a dilemma you'd let go of revisits you without warning. It may hit you while you're thinking about nothing or the trigger may be just the right words arising in a conversation, book or blog. An epiphany strikes like a lightning bolt, waking you up to a truth that has been previously eluded you. It's as if the whole world stops in that moment as you integrate the missing pieces of the puzzle you are meant to solve all along. This is such a time for you now. Answers are coming directly from source and being downloaded into you with such a force of conviction that you cannot be the same again. Be grateful for this beautiful burst of magic. It is not an everyday gift, Sagittarius. Inherent in this is the knowledge that spirit is always listening to you. Spirit is your loving partner, reminding you that you are not alone. Even when it appears that you are trapped, you always have a key to unlock the solution. If you cultivate the willingness to be open to and in tune with source, the answers you seek come when you stop looking for them. Be mindful today. When information pops out, out of the blue, pay attention. The action you need to take will become obvious as you integrate this magical wisdom, regardless of the subject of your inquiry, you will be transformed. Only good will come of this, Sagittarius. Okay, spirits like level it up, level it up, level it up, level it up. All right, sorry, 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 Sagittarius. No, I'm not, I'm not sorry. Okay, 
Thank you, Spirit, for that beautiful message for Sagittarius. Now we're going to do the Sacred Geometry Activations Oracle and see what activation you have for November. And Sagittarius, you may already be like, oh my God, I'm tuning in. I'm psychic. I knew who was going to win the presidency. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's another video. That's a whole other video. I mean, download about that and... Let me tell you, when the universe does what they want, the universe does what they want. I'm, I'm serious. Like, you may think you have it all figured out, and then, boom, source is like, nope. I'm going to do it this way now. <laughs> Another video, though. Okay? All right, Spirit. What activations do you have for Sagittarius for this month, November 2020? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, cut it. I gotta cut it. You have magic. You have a burst of magic, Sagittarius. <laughs> and you have magic as your activation. Okay. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their, in their manifestation. All right. So that's very, very relevant of what I just pulled. I'm so excited. Look, I'm shaking. Spirits on y'all. Okay. That's a 31. Look up full in numerology, please. Y'all write this stuff down. Y'all want to, if y'all want my readings, you get homework. So, yeah. Yeah. Oftentimes, Sagittarius, what we consider to be magic is simply that which we cannot explain within the parameters of our existing belief system of reality. If we haven't seen something before, or we were never taught that something could exist, then it must be magic if we clearly experience or observe it. Magic could be described as the explanation we give for something we perceive as real, even though science has not been able to prove or explain it yet. And our mind struggles to accept it. Throughout history, humans have had a profound fascination with magic and a deep fear of it as well. Magic holds seemingly unseen and unknown <laughs> possibilities that can be of immense value, yet our lack of understanding and control makes us fearful of it. We assign great power to it as described in countless fairy tales, myths, and legends in which magicians, sorcerers, witches, and wizards play significant roles. Perhaps our deep fascination with magic is our unconscious desire to alter our existing reality and expand beyond our current state to become a much grander expression of who we really are. Magic helps us believe that anything is possible, even the things that seem impossible or make no sense. Magic is another word for manifestation, Sagittarius. What is clear is that magic requires a deep and unwavering intent and conviction on the part of the magician. An uncertain and questionable abracadabra will simply not do. Changing our reality starts with a deeply rooted belief that we can. When we are deeply connected to ourselves and to source, our presence is without a doubt. This solid connection is the secret power of all great sorcerers and wizards who based on their conviction, intention, and trust are able to perform great magic. Purples, including indigo and violet, are a combination of red, the warmest color, and blue, the coolest color. Purples are associated with the third eye chakra and the crown chakra, representing our psychic extrasensory abilities, as well as our mysterious connection to source. It is why they have been associated with magic and mystery throughout history. The center of this activation represents our radiant core, which is strongly anchored into that source and facilitates our ability to perform our magic with great power and energy. The transparencies represent the vague and elusive spiritual world in comparison to our solid and form-based physical world. So here is your activation in Sagittarius. Here we go. Try this, it says. Take a moment to go inside yourself 
and remember where you came from. You are magic, made of energy, pure consciousness. You are a conduit between the world of spirit and the world of matter. You have magic abilities that are far beyond what the existing belief system can even explain. How do you perform your magic? What is it that you want to create, Sagittarius? Okay, gang, gang. We got the wizards and the shamans and the witches and the soothsayers and the mystics in the house with the Sagittarius in November. Let's see if Tara is going to come for. We got the magic, so let's see what happens. All right. And why does these cards not want to shuffle? You ever see that? Try again. There it is. Beautiful. Ooh. Yes, Sagittarius. Yes. I love when my babies cooperate with me. They're probably mad at me because I haven't done any tarot for two months, seems like. No, I did some tarot. But not like I normally do. This stuff takes a lot of energy out of you. It's hard to do back to back, so let me tell you. Like I could sleep for hours after reading. Just one. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What does Tarot have for Sagittarius? What other messages do you have for Sagittarius for November 2020? Thank you, Spirit. What are the extra messages that Tarot has for Sagittarius for the month of November 2020? Thank you. All right, let's shuffle. As you see, I'm going slow because if I go fast, they start flipping out and I don't want to flip out. <laughs> I'm really trying to do it right, guys. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Current situation with you guys is the Four of Cups. You're in your head. You're bored. You're not happy. Um, four of Cups represents um, boredom. Like I said, discontent. Um, theme of the month for you guys, though, is the Page of Pentacles. This is new beginnings. Good news financially. Um, you may be going to go to um, college or going to apply for college or a school. You might be getting a scholarship. Might be applying for a scholarship. Money's involved either way. Theme of the month, money. Start up a new business. It goes one and one. Like I said, it's general reading for Sagittarius. I'm just going to tell you what pops in my heart, okay? Key goal for um, February, or shit, February. See, I'm tired. Key goal for November, this month, 2020, is Ace of Wands. Guys, and this is your energy. You're a fire sign. All right, Ace of Wands is action, initiative, new venture, um, new way of life, passion, um, creativity. You may also be trying to get pregnant. I mean, we don't know, okay? Might be having a baby. Sagittarius, if you are, congratulations. Obstacle to overcome, though, the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight kind of rep represents a young teenage energy where the page is a childhood energy. You know, it's young, it's innocent, it's fresh. Knight, young man. Um, <clears throat> he's kind of, you know, he just goes for it. He just goes for what he wants, okay? So your obstacle is to overcome. This will be reversed. So um, instead of normally being reliable and stuff, like you may be feeling unreliable, you may be wanting to procrastinate, you may be wanting to sit back and just see what happens, and that is not what Spirit is guiding you guys to do, okay? Oh, shoot, sorry, a little break. Okay, getting smoky in my room. Fall to incense and the sage burning in here. All right, your greatest accomplishment, though, is the Ace of Swords. Guys, this is a good one. Swords is a rough deck, so when you get a few good ones, hang on to them. Ace, your biggest accomplishment, triumph over adversity, um, Sagittarius, inner strength, mental clarity, that extra push to do what you need to do to not, you know, procrastinate. You, know, you got passion going on. You got money in your chart. Come on, Sagittarius, get together. Your magic. What to avoid? Um, Ten of Cups. So what they're saying, this would be a reversal. And instead of it being happy ha family life, 
home life, peace and tranquility. What you want to avoid is conflict, arguing, stress in the home. You don't need to add more on your plate than what spirit is trying to get you to do. Okay. What to embrace is the five of cups. Okay. It didn't work out. All right. Whatever you were hoping for, whatever you're wishing for, you may be going through some shadow work right now. You may be going through some inner healing. Um, but what they're telling me is um, you're disappointed. Embrace that shit, Sagittarius, because you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't procrastinate. Embrace what didn't work out, but accept what's still behind you, what's still the opportunities that are still for you, okay? It's fine. It's okay. Like I told Scorpio, it's okay to not to be okay. It's okay to not be okay. Okay, Sagittarius, we're not perfect. We're humans right now. Advice and encouragement for this month is the Hierophant. You have the wisdom. You have the magic within. Get in tune with your higher self. Your higher self is reaching out to you. Do your ancestral work. Meditate, pray, do what it is that you need to do. Study. There are books out there. There's so much things to learn about spirituality. And if you do have this type of new passion coming for a business or maybe a new job or a new money venture, study, reach, you know, look for it, dig deep into what you're wanting. Um, the Hierophant is a major arcana and um, he represents wisdom. He represents traditional values um, and provides guidance and Sagittarius, you guys are known for giving your, you know, handing out your wisdom and your opinions. And, you know, y'all have this gift of y'all see the world for what it really is and spirits telling you to tap into it. Okay. So your advice and encouragement is you're giving the advice and encouragement. <laughs> Spirit's got your back. Your higher self has got your back, Sagittarius. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. I'll upload this. You'll see it tomorrow morning. Um, I love you, Sagittarius, and have a great November. It seems like you're level up, level up, level up, spiritually speaking. I love you all. Take care. Bye.